protesters showed up at City Hall Friday morning to pressure city council members to approve a garbage contract for Richard's disposal. The council has twice voted to reject the New Orleans-based company's proposal. I would entertain a motion at this time to go into closed session. The council met behind closed doors for an hour and decided there would not be a third vote on the contract officially remove that item from the agenda with a vote of six to one. Some council members say another vote on an agenda item that's been voted down twice violates a city ordinance. When you're dealing with a $50 million contract, it's imperative that we get it right and don't put the city in jeopardy of being sued by other contractors for not following the proper procedures. The council also voted to hire outside legal counsel because of possible conflicts with the city attorney's office. Some council members questioning the legal advice they got from city attorney Katoria Martin. It's based on some of the conversations that we've had with you since we presented this contract. In her position, Martin has to wear two hats. She's the official attorney for city council and the mayor's office. It's not clear whether it was legal for the mayor to bring it up for a third vote. Well, there, there are a lot of questions, and those questions have been directed to our attorney. And so uh, once we get advisement of that, we'll know how to move forward. Protesters with Working Together Jackson say they were disappointed at the council's decision. We have a contract that was properly and legally bid on. If there's an issue with the process, then it's the city that issued that process.